hello everyone so welcome back to my new tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to discuss how can we add the color for our custom block you can see in our last video i have created a simple text it is it was a rich text and today we will try to add a color to this text there are a lot of uh, there are a few options uh, like color plate color picker or panel color setting some component to uh, implement color to a Gutenberg block you can choose any color or you can also create a custom one for your own block but I will only show you the basic color system so that you can implement it if you want to extend its setting or its interface you can do it writing some CSS coding okay first of all i want to use a color palette if you go to the uh, gutenberg developer handbook and check out to the component reference you will find out the color palette and if you have a look through the documentation you will find a useful uh, guideline first of all you can see if we want to use the color palette we have to import it from the component so i am going to my block.json and i have to create a color like color simple or you can call it the content color and type will definitely be a string and i am giving a simple default color is our black color or we can keep it blank so our uh, color content color is blank by default and i want to import it we are going to content color i am going to extract this track it you can see so we want to use color palette so simply add a new field or setting at our respective control so color palette and you can see there are some more informations i want to remove all of this because we only need the component sorry And first we have to import this color palette from our color palette yeah so it is asking for red colors if you want to create a color palette it is an array and inside this array you have to use object for its color and first one is the name of this color and second one the value of this color like it is a red let us create a white and create a black there are three palettes are available here and second property is the color so we want to use our attribute and there is an unchanged function it is very simple simply set the attribute of this content color like this color so our color palette is created successfully and if you run and you start and check out our editor panel we will see a new color palette you can see this is our color palette there is no title for this area we can create a custom title before this component let us create a feature and we can give a simple CSS uh, custom class name like custom level this oh sorry let us create a p tag and you see this p tag a class name my, my custom color and add a title like content color okay if you refresh you will see a new title here you can see this is our title 
you can style the data based on your CSS class. You can see there are three uh, sample box. These are the color palettes. Uh, if you select this red, you can see this red is visible. If you select white, head hair white is visible here, or black, or you can also click on hair and to pick a custom color like this one. And you can see when we are going to create a custom color, then our level is custom. If we use a color from the sample box, then you will see in the name. I mean this title like this. You can add some more palette like four can be the green or you can blow or you can we can add another one like yellow. Then you will see there are six box or fresh and check out you can see there are six box. You can customize this box as per we need. If you don't want to use all of this, you can simply remove this because it is not uh, a required field. It is only an optional field. And you can see there are no box are visible here. But I prefer if you have a custom palette. There is a most important part for this color palette and that is the clear. Like I am going to create, check this green color, I have selected it and if I refresh I will see this is our green color and sometimes you may need to clear, clear this color. You can simply click and you can see the color is vanished. That means uh, it is, uh, it doesn't have any uh, default color. You can also control this, sometimes you may need to hide this clear so if you clearable false make it that's mean you will see there are no clear feature you can see this our clear button is gone that's mean user never can clear the color that mean user must have to pick a color so I think you have understood it let me implement it to our uh, content so I want to make it the true so that you can come clear the color so if we console log this color obviously we're getting a hex code hex color code if I inspect and check out the code I will see oh, yeah this is our content text and this is our color this means we need this uh, code only. So let us go back here. This is our content. We want to add a star in the star and simply add color as our content color. And similarly, to the sub function content color and a style and content color. And if you refresh and check out, you can see this are green color. If we do are clear, there will by default color. I mean, this is coming from a default setting. Make it red. You can see it is red. And update. And if you check out to the front end, you will see it is red. And if I check out the inspector, you can see this is our color and this is our code. So it is the first way we can add color for our block. Sometimes it may, you may dislike this option. You can choose another option like color picker. This is almost a similar uh, system. Let us try this one. So I'm going to simply import the color picker. Okay, color picker. I want to remove this one or make it comment color picker yeah and inside this color picker sorry yeah I 
we can see this is our first color color means this is like the value so it will be our content color and on this this is a function on this complex we'll get a value then we have to set attribute and there is an important part that you have to make it a hexacode so if you want to get a value and a hexacode hexadecimal code you have to add this uh, attribute like value dot this hex then we will get a hexacode to our attributes disable alpha you can enable or disable alpha that's been so that you usually can pick uh, the transparency i mean the opacity of this color so if we refresh yeah i will see a color picker you can see this is our color picker it has a different look and you can can pick the color like and we can see our color is been changing you can see it is changed if you click you can also paste a custom code here there are some more options like rgb ace sl or hexacode okay and if we enable the alpha enable or we can make it Oh, sorry 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 this is not false we want to make it true and refresh to see the result you will see that is the opacity that's why we can control the transparency of this color so these are two popular options to add color to your custom block that is also an important uh, component let me try out this and that is panel color setting sorry most of the time i try to use this one but there is a simple trick first let us create panel color setting we have to import this from the block editor it is must and it is important news it is not a uh, normal component so you have to import it from the block editor mention keep in mind like we have to import it from block editor and you can see there are some extra feature and first one is it is giving an option that is our title that means we don't need to have use and custom level it is the great advantage of this uh, color component so let us create a single simple title like this initial open it may be true or false why it is giving an option uh, like this because uh, uh, it is is uh, it is it works like a simple panel body like it is simple panel let me show you and third important option is the color setting this is an object oh, sorry this is an array and inside this area we have to pick an object for this color like value is color and on change we have to set or update our attribute and we can use level uh, the most advantage of this panel color setting is that we can add multiple color inside this single panel let me show you like update refresh if i check out i can see it working it is working like as a panel so you don't need to use this inside a panel so it is better to uh, bring outside this panel like there because it uh, itself a panel it works like a panel so if I refresh I will see its magic you can see this is our magic and you can pick a color from here this is the panel uh, 
palette we can also control this palette and we can also pick the color even we can paste a custom code here so if you want to create custom colors palettes so simply call this colors oh sorry here colors like red orange and black three a uh, circle that's mean there will be three circle these are coming from a theme color palette but we want to use custom color palette if you check out you can see there are three color palettes okay the most uh, important advantage is that we can add another color here like a background color or something like this background color although we don't need to use any background color here so let us distort this color this mean the background color background color like this is it true yeah it is all right make sure it is working fine yeah so we can simply add another object and it will be our background color update so content color we can say content background and if I start our project and refresh I will see there are two panels two colors one is content color and another is content background so if you have multiple colors like content color bearer background color or more options you can um, gather all of this inside a single panel so this is the current advantage of this panel color setting so i think you understood how to implement the colors to be a new uh on custom block when we will build a project then i will also discuss about more in details in future so if you have any more questions you can let me know i will try my best to answer your question so enjoy your day have a good day thank you